Miami Dolphins wide receiver Tariq Hill was detained and put in handcuffs right outside of Hard Rock Stadium just hours before the game. Now, it's said he was pulled over for a traffic violation, but the video shows three police officers using excessive force, yelling, cursing, pushing them to the ground, calling them names, all of that stuff. So thankfully, Tariq Hill was let go of and with no injuries, of course, and he eventually did play in the game against the Jaguars and balled out, did his thing. But above all, man, this was just kind of crazy because, you know, you don't expect these sort of things to happen um, right before a game. I know there was an incident where a big golfer was going to play in his master's match and he was arrested and, you know, shaken down by the police and all of that stuff. So it's kind of crazy that this is happening. But above all, it's even more sad to me that people were screaming, saying, hey, that's Tariq Hill with the Dolphins. Like he's about to go play a game. There's people walking in Jersey saying, cops, what are you doing? There's people filming, driving in cars saying, what are you doing? All of this stuff is going on and the cops are just zoned out, not paying any attention, focused on doing whatever the hell they was doing to Tariq Hill, all for nothing. And the thing that really, really bothers me about this is obviously, you know, people know Tariq Hill, so it's a big thing. It's it's super popular. It's like, whoa, whoa, whatever is going on. But Tariq Hill, NFL player, drives a nice car. Um, I believe it was like a Ferrari or a Lamborghini, one of those, don't quote me on the car, but a damn nice car. Cops banging on his window, you know, telling them to hurry up, cussing them out and all of that stuff. And it's just like, all right, bro, like you doing all of this. But like one, I don't think they realize how stupid they're going to look once they realize this is a public figure. And it's sad to say it, but if this was a regular dude who's a drug dealer in Miami, nobody gives a shit. Unfortunately, that's just the sad truth of it. Nobody is going to care because they're like, oh, he's, you know, it's another black dude getting beat down by the cops. Unfortunately, that's the world we live in. But Seeing this happen to Tariq Hill, I think it's it really opens up the eyes of some people who think that, oh, it only happens to drug dealers or this sort of thing only happens to guys who are black and up to no good, even though they may not even be up to no good. They might just be minding their business. But because this happened to Tariq Hill, it shows a lot of people that don't matter if you're an athlete, a rapper, a, a superstar, and you're black. Either way, it can still happen to you. Now, I'm not one to sit here. I'm not trying to make this whole thing like, a, oh, oh, black people always getting beat by the cops and all of that. We already know that's how it goes down in this country. And truthfully be told, that's how it's been going down for years before and after cameras, unfortunately. That's just how it's been. And seeing this happen to Tariq Hill and a lot of people being Dolphins fans, fans of Tariq Hill, the person and the football player, it just shows them like, hey, bro, like this shit is just legitimately wrong. It's wrong. Not only did you do it to him and he's minding his own business, but the thing I want to say is that this happened to Tariq Hill, but this happens to people in your local city every damn day, unfortunately. It happens to these same people every other week in certain cities, in major cities. In Miami, I'm sure this is a normal thing for guys who are just minding their business but drives a nice car with some tinted windows. They may work for a corporate office. They may be a drug dealer. Who knows? But either way, that does not give you the right to throw them to the ground and all of that stuff like they were doing. It just shows that it was messed up from the jump, regardless of if, he, if he's an athlete or not. Either way, it's that damn simple. Anyway, look, man, um, we got some more games.